So I'm Bridget. I'm one of the co-founders of Caribbean Girls Hack and Nicole, you wanna say just, Nicole. I have okay, to wait until I get approval to, to unmute. All right. Stay compliant. <laughs> Hello and welcome everybody to Caribbean Girls Hack RC 2021. Okay, and then the person who you saw giving you all the techie instructions, that's Raj Ramdas. Hi, hi, who Raj. Sure. Raj. <laughs> RSC Tech Clubs. Okay, so we're ready to go. So we are really, really excited about this year's hackathon because whereas before, you know, we were always about, oh, you know, take a mobile app and, you know, design a, a solution for one of our topics and so on. This year we decided to do things a little bit different because we know that you guys have been doing a lot with tech because everything as it relates to school, learning is now online. So we decided to mix things up a little bit. So as you can see, our hackathon this year is a techno creativity hackathon. Imagine, create, design and narrate and what let me see if I can, yeah. And so if you don't, if this is your first time being a part of Caribbean Girls Hack, then we just wanted to take a moment to remind you of what a hackathon is. And really it's, a, it's an event. It is a sprint more than a marathon because it happens really quickly and it uses intensive collaboration among creative thinkers for innovative problem solving. So that's the critical piece right, using the technology to solve a problem innovatively. And that's what a hackathon is all about. So as I was saying, techno creativity is all about using creative and artistic design with tech in the background to create your solution. So what we're hyping is the creativity and your artistic design. And then we're just using tech as the medium to bring your solution to light. So we're really, really going to be focusing on thinking outside of the box and you know, all about your creativity and your innovation for this year's hackathon. So round one happens between January 18th and February 28th. Today is February 8th. So we have 20 days before we are at the end of round one. So we want you to pick a topic. You learn more about your topic at so our expert workshops that are coming up tomorrow, the day after and for the rest of the week. Then you design your solution, choose a creative presentation, pitch your concept, and then the top teams are going to advance to round two. So that's what round one is all about. And we're going to go into more detail because I know some people are saying, well, what do I do? How do I do this design? What do you mean a creative presentation? We're going to be doing all of that. We're going to give you all of that in more detail as we go along. And then round two happens March 1st to March 31st, where the creative solution that you pitched Initially, you're going to refine that creative solution, taking it from a concept to an actual product. In order to help you on that journey, we will have a number of creative expert sessions, tech expert sessions. So persons who are gonna be helping you with your design thinking, how do you actually utilize the technology that you've chosen or the modality that you've chosen to bring your creative expression to light, right? Once you have all of that information, then you will actually determine even more so what your creative campaign is going to look like for the idea that you had already pitched in round one. You pitch your creative idea and then the winning ideas will go forward and have, you'll be able to have access to a number of regional opportunities.
Okay, so what are the topic areas? First one, very, very important for us here in the region, as well as globally, climate change and, 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 and environmental sustainability. Second area we're going to be exploring is gender-based violence and intimate partner violence, a big problem for us in the Caribbean and globally. And of course, saving our oceans, the blue economy. We know what's happening as it relates to our oceans and the devastation that is being experienced in with our, our coral reefs and just with the water and our oceans are just becoming more and more at risk or reefs or shorelines. So we really want to focus a bit on how do we save our oceans more along the blue economy. So you, you heard us talking a lot about creative styles. So what we're looking for, these are the, the modalities that we're asking you to use to actually bring your creative expressions to life. Animation, stories, music videos, short docudramas, photo storyboards, and vlogging. Now, you can choose as many as you wish, but we would like you to really focus on one and to go really deep and wide in that, using that creative style. So if you're doing animation story, you create your entire concept using animation. If you're doing a music video, it means that you're going to have to actually create the music, the lyrics, the dance moves, and film your music video. And that music video should be telling your story. Same for the docudrama. You have to determine who are gonna be your main characters, who will become the protagonist in this docudrama and create your story around it and actually film that docudrama. And through that, you're gonna tell the story about the topic that you've chosen. Same for photo storyboarding. When you present it, we're supposed to be able to follow your story using all of the photos that you have taken. And we're gonna encourage you not to use stock photo that's not going to necessarily put you to the top of the pile, but you go out and you create your own, your own photos and you take your own photos for your storyboarding and the vlogging, of course, is your own stories that you're telling. So building your team. So the persons who are going to be participating in the hackathon are in the age range 12 to 23 years old. And your team can be anywhere from three to five team members. With we're, we're gonna ask you to choose a team name and a team captain, but that will come after. You don't have to have that right now. We know a lot of you are in the process of actually forming your teams as we speak. So that's why we're running this session again on Friday so that you can get all of your team members involved and have them attend. Those who miss today can miss can, can catch up on Friday. So once you have your team members and everybody on board, then in the session on Saturday, which is what's next, you will be able to see, okay, everything that you need to do going forward as it relates to registering your team, naming your team, choosing a captain, all of that we'll go into more detail with. Some people are going to want to get engaged with other girls who have registered because they're not gonna be, they don't want to form a team. We will form a team for you if that's what you want, or we'll assign you to a team with other girls from across the Caribbean who don't yet have a team. So don't worry if you're here and you don't have a team, you're gonna get put on a team. So don't worry about that. As long as in your registration, you asked us to do that. And even if not, you can just send us an email saying, you know, I thought I would form a team, but my team members have said they're not interested. Can I please be put on a team and we'll take it from there. So here we go. We have lots of great prizes that you're going to be able to access as a result of being um, chosen amongst the top of top, as we like to say. 
So we have tech gadgets that we're going to have available for the winning teams, high school and university bursaries. So we're going to have cash prizes that can be used to offset um, high school and university expenses. And for those girls who are older university, more than likely uh, university level, we'll have internships with major companies that you're gonna be able to take um, advantage of to build your resumes as you're preparing to get out there in the work, in the work environment. So more details of how to hack for round one. Remember there are two rounds. The first thing you do is you pick a topic. So you need to be asking yourselves these questions. And of course, we're gonna create a little toolkit for you so you'll be able to see all of this. This is not going to just simply disappear. But you pick a topic and you have to, you, you need to ask yourself the question, what topic have I chosen and why have I chosen it? And what is the problem and why is it important? So these are some little hints for you as to what are the things that you want to ensure your solution? What are the questions your solution will be answering along the way, right? So when you decide on your solution, you have to describe your project, right? Which of the modalities have you chosen and why? Did you use animation story? Did you use docudrama? Did you use music video? Why did you decide on that? And it could be something as simple as, I've always loved docudramas. I watch them all the time, you know, I love music videos, I dance a lot, anything. But you should actually say what, why you've chosen that particular modality. And what is the story? Because for everything that you're doing, you're going to have to have a story, a start, a middle, an end. Who are your characters? So you're gonna have a main character, you're going to have a number of other characters, best actor, best actress, supporting actor, supporting actress. And what are your lyrics? So for every single thing, there has to be some lyrical content. If it's a docudrama, a music video, an animation, there has to be lyrical content. And what and how will you use visuals? Okay. Who are you targeting? Very important. So are you targeting kids in the age group 12 to 14? Are you targeting teenagers in the age group 16 to 18? Are you targeting young adults in the age group 19 to 23? We need to know when you're presenting your concept, what is, who is your target audience? And then you're gonna pitch your idea to a panel of judges. And in pitching your idea, you'll have to address how will your project address this topic that you've chosen and what do you hope to achieve personally with the project? So that has to be a part of the presentation that you make to the judges. How will your project address the topic that you've chosen, whether you've chosen climate change and environmental sustainability or gender-based violence and intimate partner violence or saving our oceans and the blue economy? How is it that you think your project that you have just, that you are presenting to the judges will address the topic? Is it gonna be providing them, providing a solution? Is it just about building awareness? What? What is it that you're trying to accomplish? And it doesn't have to be one or the other. It just has to be very clear when you're presenting your concept to the judges for round one. What do you hope to achieve personally with the project? So you want this to be used across the globe to bring awareness to the issue. You want to take this and create uh, an, you know, some sort of a story that will be used by children and you want to sell it to ministers of education all over to the ministries of education all over the globe because you think that your message is going to be important for children in high school to understand more about the topic and to become more sensitized around the issue what is it that you hope to achieve with the project so the process of course we spoke about who is your team what is your schedule? How will you produce your project? So some about the pre-production, production and post-production. 
these are things that you're going to have to include in your concept when you're presenting to the judges. We have to see who are the members of the team, what's the schedule that you're going to be following, and what are some of the things that you're going to do prior to production. So you could be going on the road, just taking pics, photos to put in your photo board, or you're just going to be listening to a number of different musical beats for the pre-production, what's going to happen in the production phase, and then post-production is usually how you refine the product. So those expert workshops that we spoke about are coming up on the 8th, which is today, we're doing the hackathon guidelines. Tomorrow on the 9th, we're going to have experts addressing the topic of climate change and environmental sustainability. On the 10th, we're going to have experts addressing gender-based violence and intimate partner violence. On the 11th, it will be saving our oceans. And on the 12th, we're going to have a rerun of the hackathon guidelines. And on the 13th, which is not here, we're going to update this. We're going to have the hackathon next steps. So for round two, so as I said, once everybody presents to the panel of judges, we're going to have um, the top teams move on to round two. And of course, as we go along, part of the next steps, you'll know exactly the judging criteria. So don't worry, you'll know exactly how you're going to be judged and what the judges are going to be looking for. But just based on what we I just said in terms of the process, that gives you a hint as to the things that the judges are gonna be looking for when they're judging your concept that you're gonna present in round one. So round two now, we're gonna get more into how, what are the things that you're going to need in order to take your concept, bring it to life, produce something. So you're gonna know, have at the end of this, this round two, you will have an actual product. So you'll have your docudrama, you'll have your animation, you'll have your storyboard, and that's what's gonna tell the story. So you're moving it from concept in round one with teasers as to what you're going to be producing. So, you know, if you're doing an animation in round one, we'd expect that you would have at least a little bit of an animation, maybe something showing your main character to entice the judges as to what this is going to become when you finish round two. So we, in March, we're going to have a series of creative training sessions around design thinking, animation story. How do you actually make your story using animation? How do you produce a music video from start to finish? How do you do the same for a docudrama? How do you produce your photo storyboard? What is vlogging all about? There is a technique to vlogging, so you'll get more information on that through training sessions. And of course, you will have a training session on how do you make the winning pitch. So these are some of the sessions that those teams that rise to the top will be able to access in round two. And when you're producing your solution, once again, these are some of the things that you're going to have to take into consideration. Design your modality. Determine who is your target audience, what is the story that you're telling, who are your characters, and what audio and visuals tell your story. All of that you're going to just develop on because you would have done a lot of that from round one because that's how come you happen to be in round two. You did a great job at round one of telling the judges what your plan is. So then you move on to round two and so a lot of what we just said would be already very well defined from round one. I know you're just basically refining it even further because at the end of round two, that's when we have the overall winners. So you know, you have to have to have your game on in order to get to the top after we've done both the rounds, the top, 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 solutions will be the final three. Okay, 
So after you pitch your creative production idea, once again, in these various areas, on March 31st, we'll have the virtual regional hackathon. And on that day, we're gonna have observer activities. So for anybody who didn't make it to round two, we want you to come back for the virtual regional finals to cheer on your fellow hackers and to also participate in some really exciting observer activities that are gonna be really interactive. We're gonna have some great um, um, speakers and you also are going to be able to watch the final hackathon team presentations and cheer on your team, your, your, your team members. And that basically is it.